It's not surprising that the 24,000 Pakistani prisoners of war now in Dhaka's cantonment should fear the Bengalis' vengeance. That's why, until now, they've been allowed to keep their weapons. The Indian army was not certain it could protect them. But at last, at a formal ceremony, the officers of Pakistan's army, navy and air force laid down their arms. It was a somewhat theatrical event. General Gandav Nagra assured the officers that they would be treated with the utmost correctness according to the Geneva Convention. We shall provide all protection and safety. No measures of reprisals would be taken. Free boarding, messing, medical facilities would be provided to you all and all your ranks. Then, on the command of their own senior officer present, General Mohammed Jamshed, the leaders of Pakistan's defeated army laid their pistols, sten guns, and rifles on the grass in the final token of surrender. I asked the Pakistani Chief of Staff, Brigadier Bagheer Siddiqui, what he'd felt about the ceremony. Well, it's all right. Part of the game, I suppose. It didn't cause you any qualms? Well, you know, we can understand our feelings. Hmm. But as the general said, this does happen, and so people have to play the game, and I think it's a part of the game. We have to accept it in good grace. Why did you, in the end, surrender? Because for the consideration of the human lives. Could you have fought on? We could have fought on for a long time, not less than 30 days. With due military ritual, the war in the East had been brought to its ceremonial conclusion. Richard Bindi, News at 10, Dhaka. Thank <laughs> you.